Welcome to BMW Today. We are here in the BMW Welt. And today's topic, plug-in hybrid vehicles of BMW. My name is Edi Weirater. I'm a product trainer and a driving instructor. And today with me is Peter Henry. Hello, Peter. Hi, Edi. Nice to meet you. Peter, what's actually your job in BMW? I'm responsible for BMW product management. What is this actually meaning in real life? Well, my team and myself, we're trying to anticipate what our customers of tomorrow want, what's exciting for them, and then we're working with our engineering team and the designers to make it happen. Peter, um, we are here in the latest arrival of plug-in technology. Could you please explain what PFs actually mean and what's, what part is it in the BMW portfolio? Well, plug-in hybrid vehicles are an integral part of our electrification strategy. From early on, we have said electrification is the future and we have to apply full electric vehicles, but also plug-in hybrids for our customers, bringing best of both worlds together, the world of electrification and combustion engines. So the cars have two engines. Exactly, a combustion engine, petrol, and electric engine with a battery. You know, the question that always pops up in my mind is the range. People are always concerned about the range. Well, that's a great advantage of plug-in hybrid vehicles because the range is really long because you can combine the battery and the fuel tank. Oh, that's great. Well, Peter, the second question that pops up always, people are concerned about how do I charge my car? I mean, you know, is it complicated or how do I do this? Well, it's not complicated at all because if we go over there to this uh, new X5, you see here um, the charging cable and that's all you need to do. Um, you can use this plug, plug it in either from a regular socket at home or if you want to charge a little bit faster from a wall box that you can install in your garage, you plug it in, the vehicle tells you it's charging and after about uh, two hours, two to three hours, it's full. How can I find those charging stations to be honest in the city? Well, we have on our navigation system and also on our connected app, uh, a lot of charging stations uh, located, so you can um, always find the one nearby. If I can't find any charging place, you were just telling me that there's also possibility to charge while driving, right? That's true. Thanks to this big battery, we can recuperate the energy that is being generated by braking. So the battery actually fills up again while you're driving and you can then use this uh, for zero emission driving later on. One more question is, well, we, see, we can see a few cars. Will this be the future in BMW? Will there be more plug-in hybrids in the future? Well, I'm really convinced that for a long time we'll have different technologies in our vehicles. We call this the power of choice. Because depending on your user behavior or also your access to charging infrastructure, for example, um, you have to make the best choice, depending also on yeah, how long do you drive to work? Do you go regularly on long distance trips? Or is it more in this 50 kilometer range day to day, then a plug-in hybrid is perfect. What would be my benefit if I change to a plug-in hybrid car then? Yeah, the main benefit actually is that you drive with zero emissions yeah, when you are in the electric mode. Of course, best if you have also uh, ecological friendly electricity being uh, charged. And on the other hand, once you need the longer distance driving, you have the combustion engine um, that drives you uh, wherever you want to. The X5 here, that hosts a six cylinder, which is tremendously nicely, but you combine this technology with quite a various of engines. Yeah, our strategy is offering in each of the segments for our customers the plug-in hybrid technology. So you also see here, starting in a compact vehicle like an X1, or we also have the two series Active Tourer, uh, we have this X5 all the way up to our flagship, the BMW 7 Series. All of them have plug-in hybrid technology, but it's not the same in every vehicle. The compact vehicles start with a three-cylinder combustion engine, then we have four cylinders in the three, in the X3, and the six-cylinder in X5 and 7 Series. So you're not only combining the best of the two worlds, you're also combining the best engine with the best electric motor together to make a very suitable package for customers. Absolutely. The customer needs to get the best package for his or her use case. How about the sportiness of those cars? You were telling me you, you know highlights of these vehicles we can't see right now. Um, the 3 Series, the X3. Well, talking about sportiness, uh, one of our first very prominent 
plug-in hybrid vehicles was the BMW i8. So the most progressive sports car of the world was a plug-in hybrid or is a plug-in hybrid. And a little bit of this sportiness is in each of these models as well. The advantage of an electric engine is immediate torque. So we have in our most recent models uh, what we call extra boost functionality. So the electric engine kicks in together with the combustion engine for yeah, quite emotional acceleration. I can see you're getting really enthusiastic about the plug-in hybrid cars. Which one would be your favorite out of these ones, or generally talking? Well, I did drive for quite a while in i8 and I loved the car, but now as a father of three kids, the X5 is my favorite for the moment. Peter, thank you very much for all the information about plug-in hybrid. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching BMW today, and I hope you stay with us on the next episode soon.